Hey everyone, I'm Nick from Advent, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an event in Advent and all the different ways then that you can share that event with your users. And when you first log into your Advent account, you're going to see the dashboard. Here on the left hand side, you'll see your list of calendars, and here you'll see any events created or contained on that calendar. Uh, this is a brand new account, so I don't have any events yet, but I can quickly create them um, either by clicking right on the dashboard here. Um, and entering the title and then go into more options and save that event or I can click this create button and select event. So once I'm creating an event, I'm going to go and enter the title of the event. Let's just call this a uh, really exciting event. Uh, maybe add in a star here. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of settings you can enter like internal name. We can select the date, let's say the 16th time zone. You can make an RSVP event, which we'll get into later add a description, um, you know, event information here, um, location for the event, maybe let's just call it like zoom.com forward slash meeting dash link for right now. Um, you can send the organizer, things like that. But for right now, we'll go ahead and create the event. Um, important to note, when you create an event, this is the event page, um, but after an event is created, if you go back, you'll see that on the dashboard, right? So here's a really exciting event we just created. So if we go in here, uh, open up the event page, and here you're gonna see all your event details. And then down below here, these are all the different ways that you can share your event. And so the first one is the event landing page. We automatically host an event landing page for every event that you um, create in Advent. Um, so we'll go ahead and open that up. And you can share this with your users and to kind of just send them to this, this landing page. It's completely customizable. Um, and here your users will be able to see your event information and then save that event to their calendar. Uh, I, I use Google, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. Um, and then boom, I can now save that event to my calendar. And here you can see all the event information that we set is tracked over here. You know, zoom.com meeting link, event information here. So I can go ahead and save that and then boom. Now it's on my calendar, I'm not gonna forget about it. Awesome, so if we go back in here, um, the second sharing method is add to calendar links for your emails. Um, this is really nice, you can just go ahead and copy this link and paste it into any email editor. Um, I've gone ahead and done that here, so upcoming product launch. Uh, hey, we have a product launch, I think you might be interested, save this to your calendar so you don't forget about it. Again, same thing here, I can go ahead and click Google uh, or whichever calendar platform you use and I'll be able to save that to my calendar. Uh, continuing on, third sharing method is our add to calendar button. Um, this is really uh, nice. You can add this to your website or landing page. You can go ahead and just copy the code and you paste that into your website editor uh, and then it'll work. And we've gone ahead and kind of created a demo site here so you can see. Uh, again, you know, here's a product launch coming up. Go ahead and save this to your calendar so you don't forget about it. Right. And then the last sharing method here is going to be the embeddable event. So similar to the add to calendar button, uh, you can go ahead and copy that code and paste that into your website editor uh, and that'll show up on your website or landing page. It's going to look similar to this. The main difference here is you're actually showing the event details here, right? Um, so it's just nice kind of tell your users what's going on and then they can very easily save that to their calendar. Um, a couple other ways you can add events to the dashboard here. Um, the two methods that I showed you, you can also do it um, through our API or Zapier integration, or you can sync an event from an external calendar. Um, and that's what we've got. If you want to get started kind of you know, creating and sharing your events, go ahead and sign up for an ad event account, add your events in here and you'll be on your way. Uh, I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.